Uh, hello, you're watching Mike Kaplan, and I am Comedy Matters TV, is what you're watching. I'm here with Mike Kaplan, MYQ, for anyone not in the know. What's up, Mike? How are you, man? Hello, how are you? I'm here with Jeffrey Gurian, for anyone who is or is not in the know. <laughs> what a small world that we should be here together at the Just for Laughs Festival, right? It is a small, it's not a small festival, but it is a small, it's a big festival in a small world. Small, so. minuscule, tiny world. And here we are, two fish in the small, in the big festival pond, small world. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, you were... I saw you last night. It was so fun. You opened for Pat Oswalt. That was very cool. I did that, and you are correct that it was fun. It was absolutely fun, and you killed it. You totally killed it. The audience loved you. Uh, is this your first time up here at Just for Laughs? That's funny. Uh, I thought you were going to say, you killed it, and you're, you're, yeah, the audience loved it. Is this the first time that that ever happened? Is this the first time that you killed it and the audience loved you? Oh, this is a hard-hitting interview now. Uh, I was up here for New Faces uh, 2009. So I was here three years ago, and then I think I did Just for Laughs Chicago between then and now. This is my second time. My, my, my triumphant return to uh, Just for Laughs. And it's not Just for Laughs. There's also, you know, uh, thoughts. Some sadness yeah. and drama. Exactly. You know, some, uh, some solid uh, thinking time. You know, but I, I would never have asked if it's the first time you killed, because I remember when I first met you, I was a judge, I think it was at the Boston Comedy Festival. Yeah. And you, I, yeah, I think you won. I remember voting for you. It was the, it was the New York, it was the the Boston Comedy Festival's New York branch. So I think it was the New York Comedy Contest, right. and I believe I did win it. And uh, so thank you again. Yeah. And if I didn't uh, thank you enough then, or pay you enough, whatever, I will. I'll get you a drink later. <laughs> that sounds good. But I knew from the beginning. I tend, I like to pride myself on having a good eye for comedy. And as soon as I saw you, I'm like, this guy is going to do big stuff. So it's great that you're here, and especially opening for Patton, because he got, I mean, he made the, uh, well, the introductory address today. What was the, what's the proper name of the address? The, the keynote. The keynote. Yes. The keynote speech, that, which Mark Marin made last year, that people are still talking about. They are. It's uh, now they'll all they'll all be online forever. So hopefully they'll all be talking about everything forever, uh, and then nobody will need to make any new stuff eventually. Because people just keep talking about the same thing. This morning I was so tired of people just talking about that for, forever. Yeah, I think uh, my goal will be in you know at however many years, 10, 20, 30, 50, whenever I'm I'm a hundred, uh, I'll do a keynote address. It'll just be cut and pasted from all the others. That's a now, how did Mike come about, M-Y-Q? I love words, names, things like that, so tell me about that. Uh, well, it was around when Prince changed his name to a symbol that uh, I, I was a teenager and weird, and I was like, oh, that guy's weird, I'll be like him when weird. And then I changed it, and then he changed his back, and I was like, ah, I guess I'm, I'm weird and alone now. I'm stuck with M-Y-Q, because I knew that it wasn't like your parents who did that. They did not. No, but it does make it easier to Google now. So, it, But I understand it's a, it's a controversial, it's a very mild controversy. There are people who don't like it, and uh, you're right. You're right not to like it. I, I'm with you. I have, understand, and uh, you are enjoy your feelings. And if you do like it, then also enjoy those. I'm happy. I just want everybody to be happy. To be happy and to have fun and to play. P-L-E-I-G-H. Exactly. Yeah. I like it. And when you go on the swings, don't push me too high. That's the important thing. Exa yeah, don't, don't push anyone. Don't push everybody exactly the amount that they want to be pushed. Exactly. Never too high because we all want to just have fun and play. Correct. That's what it boils down to. So what do you have coming up after the festival? you have anything that you want to promote? Uh, sure. I actually have uh, a good friend of mine, Micah Sherman, is a, a, a former stand-up, an improviser, an actor, one of the funniest people I know, one of my best friends. He and I do a musical comedy duo act together, uh, and we have a CD, an album coming out uh, September 25th. It's available right now for pre-order on iTunes, or if it, you're watching this after September 25th, then it's available for post-order. Uh, so you can you can definitely get it starting September 25th, 2012, whether that's the future, the past, or right now. It would be amazing. If you're watching it right now, it's fate. Let me know. Isn't that great that you can pre- and post-order? And if you're watching right now, stop watching for a minute and go and order. What's the name of it again? It's called Please Be Seated by uh, my me, Mike Kaplan, and Micah Sherman. Great. Well, it was great to see you, Mike. I'm really always glad to see you. And uh, where can we see you in the city? Where do you perform mostly? Oh, in New York City, uh, I aim to perform at all the clubs possible. I'm, uh, you know, every month I'm somewhere uh, a few times at the Stand Up New York, at Gotham, at the Cellar. 
uh, at UCB. Uh, if you if you email me, but uh, usually I don't put all my all my things on my schedule because they come up pretty you know quickly and they change. But uh, if you look at my schedule, find out times when I'm not traveling all over the place. Uh, shoot me a message and be like, where will you be? Uh, any number of those places, or ask other people. Be like, where's Mike? And hopefully they'll know. <laughs> Stop random strangers on the street. Anybody seen Mike? M Y Q. That is, and then people will know. One night you got to come up to the strip. I, I'm happy. I've, I've been there. I enjoy it, and I'll uh, I'll see you there. I host on Sundays and Mondays, so you have an invitation. I then I will ex I take you up on that invitation. I'll be there as soon as possible. Great to see you, man. You as well. Thanks Thank for you. Coming on.